Hi, welcome back to educatetube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Recently, my brother-in-law gave me these old desktop computers. It has Windows XP operating system installed in them. I have three of them, and here I'm displaying two. I'm going to show you that even the year 2022 and beyond, these desktops are still amazing. Let's talk about it right now. All right, so here it is, the Windows XP desktop computers. I have three of them, two is shown here. Now I'm gonna talk about the recommended specs that you need to have in order to run it optimally. I'll talk about what you should be looking for and if you're hunting for a very cheap or free Windows XP desktop, okay? The first thing is, if you look at my first desktop, Windows XP, you can see that it's attached to a very thin, screen this is LCD screen uh, it's I think it's a 720p screen okay so it's a HD screen uh, for window XP that's more than enough it's connected through VGA connector and my computer this desktop can do VGA as well as DVI okay so you need that you don't want those uh, CRT okay the cathode ray tube type of monitor is too big and heavy you want a thin one like this one here and very light you can see I can probably yeah, I can probably hold it with one hand, no problem. But yes, it's light. On top of that, you'll notice this desktop come with DVD built-in, uh, USB, there's actually four of them. There is a uh, headphone jack and a mic jack, very important. So this is a thing that you need to have on your desktop, okay? And the classic Windows XP, like the Novo Think Center, has that built-in. Now, the one thing about these older desktop, that's Windows XP, they don't come with uh, Wi-Fi connection, right? So you have to buy a Wi-Fi stick. So you have to install that into one of your USB connection or slot. And then uh, you have to install the driver and then you get it running, okay? So Wi-Fi connected so you can serve the web. Windows XP running, let's say, Firefox or Chrome doesn't have a good security system to, I would say, I would not recommend using it for banking. Because say for example, if you're um, doing banking transaction, anything that revolved around money, I would avoid uh, using this type of computer. Now, serving the web on the other hand is fine, as long as, you know, it's not something that you have to share sensitive data onto the system, okay? So serving the web, like watching YouTube is fine, searching uh, the internet is fine, okay? Just as long as you don't download any malicious ads or apps into the system, then you might get viruses. You might get also the antivirus that m still support Windows XP. I'm not sure any company that does that now, but there's probably one or two out there that does it. But again, you need to trust that company too. But with the, the antivirus installed, it might slow down the system as well. Let's now talk about the spec. Okay. So here we have a Pentium E5300. Okay, It's pretty decent. CPU, in fact, it was, uh, I think, made in 2008, and it still does a pretty decent job. I have actually Windows XP built in, and it's a 3 gig RAM memory and 160 gig hard drive. So this is a pretty powerful spec for 2008 back then. So pretty amazing spec 15 years ago. In fact, this computer is probably worth you know, it was when they first released, probably at least uh, $1,500, okay? So <laughs> $1,500 now is pretty much $20. By the way, thanks to my uh, brother-in-law for giving me these desktop for free. I all I had to do was just buy these LCD screen and then it was ready to go, okay? This keyboard is pretty decent. This is also a keyboard that supports uh, for older system as well. This keyboard actually has a trackball, a small one here, and two button uh, mouse and then a uh, very condensed keyboard so and light and very compact very good for this desktop so I can just put it on top of it and uh, it's very easy to store it away so having that feature you know the older keyboard still supports these type of technology is amazing because now this is usable right I bought this for actually 10 bucks and I think when it initially was released it's almost a hundred dollars keyboard now is only 10 bucks the system you know altogether you're looking at less than 30 dollars here 
maybe $40 at most. Now let's go to the uh, DVD. So DVD here can play movies like, for example, if I want to watch The Matrix, right, or other type of movie, I just put it in and it will play. Now, obviously you need the DVD software that is able to play movies. So make sure you install that type of software in there and you can play movies as if you're watching it from your big screen TV and it can run any type of DVD movies. In addition, if you have a CD music disc, you can also play that and can, you can listen to music. I think the audio system on this Think Center Lenovo desktop is very good. When I put on my headphone and listen to the CD music, it's very nice. In addition, it, you can also uh, you know, record your voice in here. So it can be a voice recorder if you want to. I don't do that, but you could do that. You can also ins install a webcam, maybe not a 720, maybe a 480p, right? A standard DVD quality webcam and it'll still work. It's gonna be choppy. It won't be like, you know, 30 frames per second, most likely 15 to 20 frames per second, but it does the job, right? You can do that. Not sure it's gonna support uh, the latest, greatest social media platform, right? I don't think it will. Um, like for example, if you want to use Skype, the latest edition, uh, it may not support that. We'll see on the Windows XP. Maybe I have a video on you know some of these newer technology software connecting to the older hardware system, right? See how it works. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't think that will work well anyway. If it does work, it will be very choppy. The thing is with this uh, desktop, it comes with a lot of USB connection. So we ha I have actually on this computer it has four connection. So one is connected to Wi-Fi stick, which I'm going to mention in a minute. And then the other one is connected to my keyboard. And then another one is connected to my game pad. And I have one that's free. I could use it to connect to a memory stick or something like that. Okay. So yeah, so make sure when you do get these type of older desktop, it has a lot of USB so you can connect different periphery devices onto it. Now the thing is with these type of desktop, is that when it was first released, it didn't come with an internet connection. So, you know, internet was quite new back in 2008 and everybody was, you know, jumping into that bandwagon. And so uh, company was releasing like internet stick to be installed into the desktop. The desktop generally when it was first made, you know, most of these Windows XP desktop, it does not come with Wi-Fi card, right? Built into it you have to buy the card to slot it into the desktop. So I end up getting the uh, Wi-Fi stick and put it in the back and now I can serve the web. So uh, yeah, I can watch YouTube videos. I can um, search a web. Um, I can uh, basically do everything on internet except for one thing I don't like to do is like uh, basically do uh, bank transaction or when I'm doing some purchasing, I would not use these computers because I don't know how secure it is with the Windows XP. I would avoid that altogether. But you know what? This computer does everything pretty much a modern computer does with a few, you know, catches. For example, yeah, don't serve the web when you're doing bank transaction, right? But you can play games like a 1942 games like this one here that I enjoy a lot. Let's see, right? With my gamepad, there we go. You can see I can, yeah, feel like I'm in, uh, when, you know, the 1980s, 1990s. Let's see how good, oh, not dead. All right, but you can see, you can play those type of classic game. This is an emulator. Yeah, so you can play these type of games and it's pretty, pretty cool. In addition, you can also play the CD or DVD games. Like for example, I have Red Alert disc, the original disc, and I can play that still and it's still cool. It doesn't have the best graphic, but in terms of play ability and you know engagement on that type of platform, it's, Excellent. I love Red Alert, the classic Red Alert, and, and I still enjoy it on these older computers. So yes, amazing desktop, even the year 2023, does a lot of things that most computers today can do. The only exception, of course, you cannot use it to edit HD or 4K videos. It can maybe edit a like DVD quality or 480p quality videos, so maybe uh, it's great for students who, you know, want to learn the basic video editing. So, you know, cut and paste and adding audio to it. Maybe change a bit of the color grading on a 480p format video, then I think it's okay. 
right? So it can do that. It can do Excel, right? Teach students about, you know, spreadsheet. It can do word processing. So, you know, when you're doing writing, setting up your essay or your documents, then this is fine. Now, in addition, because it's connected to the Wi-Fi, it's also connected to my Wi-Fi printer. I have an Ipsen 2500, which is connected to all these two computers and also one of the other computer as well. In fact, all of my five desktop computer is connected to this Ipsen 2500, a Wi-Fi printer. And it's a Echo Tank printer. That means that it's a very efficient ink system that is to waste a lot of ink and then the ink is very cheap. So I can print from this desktop, this desktop, the one over there and the one over there so easily. So because it's connected to Wi-Fi technology, even, you know, this system is 2008, 2023, it's still usable. So you can see that it's amazing that it can still connect to the more modern technology like Wi-Fi printer, as long as you have the driver that supports it. So Ipsen company, the printer itself does support Windows XP and it works well. Now I'm going to try later on to hook up to my 3D printer and I'm pretty sure it will work on that one as well. So all these uh, devices interaction with the older computer, I think you'll find that most of them will be compatible as long as you have the driver that support Windows XP. All right. So very happy to have these type of computers, desktop. I want to thank my Brown Law for that, for giving me this free desktop. All I had to do was just purchase my uh, LCD screen and my keyboard and my Wi-Fi stick and I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.